Welcome to this training tip showing how to use EdgeCam Workflow's Fixture Database. EdgeCam Workflow is designed to make users more productive compared to the traditional approach to CAM. Creating the virtual machine setup is one of the parts of the CAM process where workflow dramatically reduces the effort needed to create toolpath for CNC milling, turning, and YRDM machines. Consider a typical prismatic milling setup where a part will be machined from plate stock and held in a vise. In order for simulation to accurately predict what will happen during the machining process, the virtual machine setup has to include the part to be machined, stock, work holding, and the user also has to specify how these items are assembled to the CNC machine. Creating this virtual machining setup in traditional CAM is not an easy process. As a result, many companies skip the extra work to add all the components necessary for full machine simulation, except in the case of complex jigs or fixtures. Put another way, many companies do not utilize machining simulation for parts held in vices due to the complexity of creating the virtual machining assembly. Workflow's approach to creating this setup is different from the traditional approach to camp. Workflow's virtual machining setup assembly can be done very quickly, extending the benefits of full machining simulation even to relatively simple prismatic milling and turning applications. EdgeCam Workflow's Fixture Database is one of several methods available to quickly add work holding devices to the virtual machining setup. The benefits are accurate simulation that predicts exactly what will happen during the machining process and ability in the software to avoid collisions because the software already knows where the fixtures are located. The concept behind the fixture database is to provide a way for users to store common work holding components so that they can be quickly added to setups as needed. In some ways this mirrors the idea of content libraries in CAD software where commonly used components can be easily added to assemblies as needed. It is not necessary to create solids in order to add fixtures to the database. Prismatic models are automatically generated based on the dimensions assigned by the user. However, it is also possible to use solids for highly realistic simulation and precise collision avoidance. This training tip will include demonstrations in two segments. In the first part, we'll show how to use it Workflow's Fixture Database command. In the second part, will show how to add a vice to Workflow's fixture database. We'll begin by opening a solid and then orient the part for the machining setup. That includes assigning where the zero system for the machining setup will be. Then moving from left to right along the setup tab, the next thing we'll do is add stock to the part. Stock can be quickly calculated based on the actual part size then the next step in creating the virtual setup is to add a fixture. When we use the fixture database command, Workflow opens the fixture manager, allowing us to view the common work holding fixtures that our company uses, such as chucks, vices, and clamps. We're going to select a vise, and I want to point out that unsuitable vices have automatically been filtered out. This is helpful in avoiding the possibility of selecting a vise that could not open large enough to grip the workpiece that we've selected. Once we've chosen a vise, Workflow assists with assembling the fixture into the virtual machining setup. We can easily align the vise to the desired angle, and the vise automatically opens to the correct size based on the angle we picked. Another assembly option we have is to specify how the part and the vise align. In this case, I've used stock seating height, which is a distance for the parallels from the base to the bottom of the part. Notice that it's possible to change views, which is sometimes very helpful during the machining process. Another option we have is to use stock stick out, which is the distance from the top of the vise jaws to the part. As a side note, if you don't see the fixture displayed, go check the display fixture icon in the view and make sure that control is set to on. Once we're satisfied with the settings, we can select the fixture and it's now added to the virtual machining setup. If necessary, we can easily move the part, stock, or fixture and modify the CPL0 reference at this point. The fixture database has helped quickly add a common fixture item to our machining setup. 
we're already off to a fast start with the CAM process. Let's begin by opening Fixture Manager, where we'll create a self-centering vise. When we create a new fixture, we're allowed to select from common items such as a chuck with jaws, collar chuck, a vise, or maybe a strap. When I choose vise, we're presented with information appropriate to creating a vise. We'll need to define the base and the jaws. This is a fifth axis V6105 self-centering vise, and if we visualize the main components viewed from a machining simulation standpoint, we need to know the dimensions of the base and the jaws. Using the fit stock command, we can quickly come up with those numbers, the length, width, and height. But for this example, we'll skip taking measurements and simply use the information that's been provided by the vice manufacturer. We'll put in the length, width, and height for the base, the jaw opening size, and then the parameters for the jaws. Notice that when we save the vise, EdgeCam creates parametric graphics using the information we've provided. This is suitable for basic collision avoidance and simulation. Let's see if our vise works. When we add the fixture to a new machining setup, we can test this by putting in different stock seating height values or stock stick out values. And notice that the vise responds. As we change the mounting angles, we see the vise jaws correctly open to the part. This confirms that the vise has been created properly. Let's improve the simulation capabilities by adding accurate models to the fixture manager. Observe the proper orientation that this vise is in. The jaws are in the closed position. XY0 is at the midline of those jaws, and Z0 is at the top of the base. Whether you use solids provided by the manufacturer or your own, perhaps from a CAD system, or perhaps from EdgeCam Workflow Solids, it's important to orient the vise correctly. Once the fixture is oriented, we can right-click over each item in the features list that represents a solid, an output model, and then paste those models into the fixture manager. This creates MEG files that are in, stored in the appropriate path within the support files folder that's been designated in Toolstore Administrator. Let's see how the updated vice works now by replacing the existing fixture with a new one. Notice the prompt when I use Fixture Manager a second time. It indicates that I have the option to replace the existing fixture or add additional fixtures to the virtual setup. The updated vice is properly positioned within the virtual setup. It confirms that it's configured properly and can now be used for any EdgeCam milling setup. EdgeCam Workflow's revolutionary approach to creating the virtual machining setup helps users get off to a fast start on the CAM process. This is just one of the areas where EdgeCam Workflow makes you more productive compared to the traditional approach to CAM.